All right, guys, walked into the Rigetis and walked back out. I'm on a walk like a champion. Talk like a champion. What a piece of body, girl. Tell me where you get it from. All right, let's go. So, guys, it's Tuesday, September 5th, and we're back on the grind like my rear brakes last Friday. But, guys, I did get those brakes fixed, and uh, I still have to do the front. The front was actually due to be done first, but they're not grinding. The back are grinding. The back were grinding, so I got the back taken care of, and then I got to do the front still. Still got to do my oil change. Yeah, so there's all this work to be done, man. You know, so we're going to start today off with a big, fat gig from Rody Pay, $49.10. That's the way I like to start Mondays and Tuesdays. Even though I couldn't go out early yesterday, I still made up for it by making close to $200 in yesterday's shift. So Home Depot, $49.10. It's only three miles. So let's. What are, what are we waiting for? Let's go inside and let's pick it up. Come on, wasting time, man. Got everything loaded, 627. I could have been done with this gig already, but I was chatting it up with my friend Stanley, you know? All this talking about gig work and, you know, apps and all of that. You know, he drives a pickup. So, um, it's good to talk, man. It's good to network. It's good to have friends in the space. So, guys, drive three miles. Let me see how long that's gonna take us. And, yeah, where are we going? All right, 10 minutes. Whoa, that is like right by my house. <laughs> that is like literally by my house. That is where I ended last night. I ended over there and I'm starting over there today. So that is nine minutes away and we're going to my area. So let's make this money, man. Let's get it. I know, I know, I know. I know, I gotta find a name for that voice. Here. What's your name? What's your name? Tell me your name. Gotta come up with a name, man. You know what I'm saying? Tiffany. <laughs> guys, I see you at the drop. All right, guys. Just pulled up to the location. It's 637. It's right around a, you know, a couple, like, close to my house. I'm not going to walk from here to my house, but it's not that far. So let's get this dropped off, man. Let's go. Completed first gig in the back. So 642 and I have a door that shift, so let me start. Let me actually start. Let me see if I get anything. Hopefully I do. Because I want to go to the Walmart. I don't know if this still applies, but I want to go to the Walmart to see if I could actually um you know see if I could get an oversize. That's the last, okay, Dodash, Dodash is coming in. $12, three items, Walgreens. Damn, it's going kind of far. It's going where I just came from. Well, the store is where I just came from and I'm close. That is crazy. Four miles, 35 minutes. Nah, I'm not gonna do that. That's all the way over there. Yeah, that, that's a bit too far. I'm way too far from the store. By the time I get there and I get back, I am basically have to drive to the store and come back over here. I don't like that order. I don't like it. You know what I'm saying? $12, good payout, but I don't like it. 
I might get over there and they don't have the items. So, yeah, I'm going to leave that alone. I think something better will come in. Guys, when we do get something better, I'll let you know. But great start to the day. Let's see if we can make $100. I only got until 9 Whoa. $20. We got to go to Flushing, Right Aid, five items. Oh, my God. Flushing, you know. Five items. 63 minutes estimated time. 21 miles. Filthy. God damn. Wow. Not going to do that at all. Not at all, man. What's going on with these shop and pays? Right, Aid? I'm going to show up there and there'll be nothing. There'll be f five items. I'll probably get one. And the customer might be unresponsive for the other four. Hell no. Disgusting. So, guys, they sent me back the same shop and pay that I said was disgusting. Now it's paying $15.50. You know what? I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. Just because they sent it up to $15.50, I'm going to take it. So, let me actually hit the highway. I'm going to hit the highway and I'm going to get it done. You know what I'm saying? It's telling me to take local, but I'm going to hit. You know what? I'm going to take local. The person behind me is probably pissed. Yeah, I'm going to take local. It said it's going to take me 14 minutes to get there, 3.5 miles. I'm, I'm going to do it. So, let's go to Walgreens. All right, guys, we need every on water. Bam. Nothing. Nothing. Hope the customer got substitutions, though. So the customer will take two of these instead. Perfect. All right, guys, got that shop for. Took us about 10 minutes, not bad. You know, gonna make $15. You gotta drive back, but at least you got something, you know what I mean? Hey guys, um, got that dropped off. No tip, no tip, but it's cool. We're getting one, 725, 26 minutes, 3.8 miles. We're gonna go ahead and take it. We basically gotta go back where we just came from. Literally, we're gonna take it because technically my shift is supposed to be over. So we're gonna drive 13 minutes to the pickup and the drop off is really close to the Dunkin' Donuts. So yeah, we're gonna do that because I don't see anything on roadie from the Walmart, so yeah, I'm not gonna sit around and like do nothing. I gotta keep it moving because I don't have a lot of time to do deliveries today, so yeah. We only have basically an hour and a half left, so I gotta keep it moving, man, and this order should take us into the 70s, which is perfect, and uh, I think we should hit $100 today. We should, once everything goes well, we should. You know what I mean? So, I'm going to do this DoDash. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm going to keep checking Rudy as well to see if anything drops on Walmart because if we get a Walmart gig right now, that'll take us over $100 for sure, man. So, you know what I mean? So, um, I'm keeping my eye on that. Definitely. Sorry. All right, guys, currently 7.48. We got the order picked up, and it said it's going to take us three minutes for the drop-off. So, it was a little check to get here, but at least the drop-off is not that far. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn on Uber Eats pretty soon to see if I can, um, if I can get something on Uber Eats. All right, I got a Grubhub. Okay, let's see what it is. 674 Jamaican taste. Jamaican taste. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and take that. Yeah, let's take that. Reggae taste. 
to another Jamaican spot. I wonder if the food is good. <laughs> All right, so let's drop this off and then head to this grub hub. This is going to an apartment, so hopefully it's not difficult. It's a leave at door as well. I hate those, but it is what it is. So guys, it seems like this one is going, this might be going to the projects. <laughs> Early projects delivery. Wow. I think that's exactly where it's going. One of these project buildings. I can't believe this person put leave at door. Bro, come get your food, man. Projects for sure should have known better. I should have known. I just don't feel comfortable going to the projects though. It's not that, you know, anything's gonna really happen, but if there, if something's gonna happen, yeah, it's gonna happen there. So yeah, when I do deliver to the projects, I usually leave my wallet in the car. You know what I mean? Any valuables in the winch, you know, in, in, the, in the plain sight, I hide it. So yeah, I don't like delivering there, but it's okay. It's okay, we're gonna have to deal with it. It is what it is. All right, see that guys? You could just walk straight in. <laughs> I hate it. Third floor. It smells nice though. All right, guys, so we got that delivered. See the kind of conditions there. And I just asked this customer if these buildings are safe. She said, sometimes. I'm like, what do you mean by sometimes? So I'm like, is that a no? <laughs> she said, not really. There hasn't been anything for a while. You know, nothing happened. I was like, okay. So guys, we're six minutes away from the... What is going on with this freaking map, man? I'm trying to navigate to this pickup right now. And it's acting up. All right, we gotta go the opposite way. So we gotta spin around and go back that way to reggae taste. And yeah, we'll pick up this Grubhub and keep things going. So we made about $22 on DoDash. $49 and change on the roadie, you know, so that's about $71 and we're about to make a little $6 here on Grubhub. So going a little closer to 80, it's now 758, it's the last hour. I think we should be able to make 20 bucks, right? To reach a hundred, that'd be awesome, man. You see, it's days like this, I wish I could have delivered like all day. Because I know I would make a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? And guys, nothing dropped at, um, at the Walmart, though. Didn't see anything at the Walmart, so... Yeah. I've been checking, but nothing. Maybe I missed it while doing that delivery, but... It doesn't matter, man. It wasn't meant to be. But yeah, man, um... I don't like delivering to those buildings, man. They just, they just feel so weird, you know what I mean? They just have this cold airy vibe about them you know what i'm saying seriously so you see someone left all that garbage by the freaking um the garbage chute don't know why but it doesn't look good you see what i mean all right guys let's pick up from rigatis rigatis Instead of one week long, and 
Alright, pick it up with Arda. Charlene. Charlene, pick up. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, appreciate it. Alright, guys, walked into the Rigatis and walked back out. I'm gonna walk like a champion. Talk like a champion. What a piece of body, girl. Tell me where you get it from. All right, let's go. Enough for the games. Guys, the drop off is literally three minutes away. And we could turn right here, but damn, there's traffic. You know what? Let me just go up here because I don't want to get stuck in traffic right now. All right. Yeah, four minutes away. So, yeah. Guys, I did put in for a roadie gig. The oversized dropped at Walmart a little after 8 o'clock and I'm hoping I get the one that I put in for it's a big screen TV 65 inch and there were there was actually two one going over the far rockaway and one going in my neck of the woods I'm hoping I get the one that's going close to my house ah oh, that'll be awesome man that'll just take us over a hundred dollars and I could just go home, make some breakfast, drop the wife to work, come back home and hang out all day with the sun, you know, so. I'm hoping, if I don't get it, I don't get it, but I'm usually lucky with those Walmart gigs. It is what it is. If I don't get it, it is what it is, you know what I mean? I'll live, I'll be fine. So guys, I didn't get that roadie gig, man, damn. Usually get lucky, but I'm usually in the freaking parking lot. So, yeah, I'm I'm mad. <laughs> I'm mad, man. I would have liked to get that. That would have been sweet, but it's okay, man. You can't get them all, you know. Can't get them all. All right. So, Senpex. Whoa, and it's gone. Anyways. Yeah, send picks from that Rockaway. Um, Lowe's would have been good right now, too. But anyways, let's get this Grubhub dropped off, man. Leave that door. Yeah, let's go. Leave that door. It's a crisp, huh? All right, guys, we got that dropped off. It was actually a leave at door, but she has a little dick here, so can't leave it in front there, you know what I mean? So we got that Grubhub completed, and we didn't get lucky with the roadie gig. I should have actually put in for the one going to Far Rockaway. I think I would have got that, but people ate those up, man. But if I was in the parking lot, I would have got it, but I'm, I'm way too far. It's all good. Wasn't meant to be. So let me check DoDash. Busy, yep, let's go till 9 a.m. Back on DoDash, guys. Uh, 8 11, let's see what we could do. Okay, 325 McDonald's, 1.2 miles. Decline. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, declining faster than a mofo. Let's go. Four dollars. I hop. Uh, nah. I didn't even screenshot any of those guys. Wasting, wasting my time. I'm not saying I won't do a four dollars or a three dollar order if I feel like it, but not right now. Five seventy five and. Uh, Sandwich spot, Bricktown. Nah, not doing that. Don't feel like going over there right now. Don't feel like going to Bricktown right now. A little bit too far for my liking. All right, guys, so we got a McDonald's. Uh, I decided to do it. Eight minutes away, seven bucks. I think it's like 3.5 miles. It's not going too far, no the area. So I decided to take it, you know what I mean? Just to keep things flowing, you know what I mean? Cause I don't wanna not do anything and not make any money. You see? So let's keep it coming in, man. We, we only go until nine. It's 8.14. 
I think after this we'll be able to do another one, you know, just to keep it going. That's all I want to do. Keep making up money. Let's start on that roadie gig, but it's okay. I wanted to do the roadie gig for the cash flow. I'll have to do 40s in order to make that in about double the time. So that's why I like those gigs, you know. But so the driver scooping them up, man. All right, guys. Got the McDonald's picked up. I actually forgot to record going into the McDonald's simply because there was this roadie gig paying $199 from BJ's out in Freeport. But it was a heavy pickup. The items couldn't fit in here. Or even if they could fit, it, it would have been cutting it too close, man. It's currently, what, 826? And I would have to finish this. Well, I, would, I wouldn't have done the McDonald's order, but um, I would have had to go do that. You know, it would have took me about 40 minutes to get over there or 30 minutes, let's say 30 minutes. And then I would have to, you know, go do it, come back, pick up the wife. Yeah, drop her to work. It would have been cutting it way too close though. So yeah, I decided against it. Well, I actually put in the bid and I canceled it. And then when I looked at the dimensions, I was like, yeah, I won't be able to do this. Someone took it. Someone took it. That person got lucky. I'm like, and when I say lucky, they got lucky. $199. After doing that, you could go home if you want. You know what I'm saying? You could say, okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Going home. Day's work done in an hour. You know what? Most likely a person like that would stay out, but <laughs> you might stay out and ruin your whole day too. But wow. All right, guys, currently 839. We took one order that has two pickups and a, one drop off, right? I don't know why it sounded like that, that I took one order. I took an order, guys, two pickups, a drop off. I'm going the wrong way. Am I? Am I? Am I? No. So 10 minutes to the first pickup. We pick it up at a deli. So pretty sure when we get there, it's going to be ready. And then we got to shop at... Walgreens for three items Then we got to drop it off then head home $16 uh, I'm not gonna leave that on the table He it said it's gonna take me 50 minutes, but I should get it wrapped up quicker than then Nine minutes BAM pick up go to the Walgreens. I said Walmart Walgreens Walgreens, you know get those three items picked up like really fast and drop it off and head back home I should be home by at least 920 that's good enough that's good enough this should take me about four the whole thing including getting home should take me about 40 minutes that's what i'm hoping for 16 bucks yeah last order of the day i think is it gonna take me over is it gonna take me over um a hundred dollars i don't know i don't know i hope it does but i should keep you guys informed I do have Uber Eats running. I didn't even realize it until just now, but I'm gonna turn it off because I can't dirty stat this one. And I'm gonna put Grubhub unavailable as well. So, DoorDash coming in clutch these days, man. Wow, can't believe it. That's what happens when you give DoorDash a, a, a really good chance, you know what I mean? So, yeah, let's head to B. Oh, we actually head into Walgreens first. That's where it's sending me. Don't know why it's doing that. But, um, yeah. That is not the best option. I don't know why it's doing that. So, I'm going to actually go to the deli first. Let me go. I don't know why it's doing it that way. But we're going to go to the deli first. And then, yeah. That's crazy. I don't know why it did it that way, though. The deli is six minutes away. So, yeah, and I'm going, yeah, six minutes away to the deli. Like, why did it do that? So I'm picking up from the deli, then I go that way and drop it. Out. I don't know why it's making me do it that way, though. Damn, Dodash. Three minutes could be very, very important. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Guys, I'll see you at the pickup. All right, 
the, the picked up guys part kind of dirty. Sometimes that's what you gotta do. You know what I mean? So let's spin around and let's head to the freaking Walgreens and get this shop and pay picked up. I'm gonna put on my seat belt. It's a precinct close by. I don't wanna get a ticket right now. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Let's spin around right here. Let's spin around right here, guys. So yeah. So guys, I'll see you at the Walgreens, man. Gotta do this fast. Don't wanna be late to dropping my wife to work at all. Damn, I wish she had work at 11 today. But she has work at 10. Damn, I hate this fluctuation of time, man. I've worked from five to one every day, no change. No change. You see what I mean? I hate when the hours are all over the place. Damn. Wow. Um, hello. Good morning. Good morning. All right, guys. The water is right here. <laughs> Let's pick that up. Keep it going. All right, guys, that was quick. Under two minutes. Wow. All right, guys, got that um, dropped, dropped off, picked up. But yeah, that cashier was really nice, though. So, guys, we're seven minutes away from the drop off. And it's currently 901. So I'm loving this man. We're going on 219. I'm loving this. Seven minutes. Oh man, perfect. $16. Nice order. And then I'll head home. Be there. In good timing to drop my wife to work. I like this, man. I like this. Everything's working out. Everything's working out, man. No, the cashier, she asked, how am I today? I'm like, I'm feeling great. You know what I'm saying? Got life, got health, got strength. Listen, only thing, my knee hurts. Because last night, my wife was telling me that my feet stinks, you know? I'm like, what you mean my feet stink? So I try to smell my feet. And when I try to smell my feet, I like held my ankle and try to, you know, smell my feet and guys i cracked my knee sideways i was like i didn't even realize i could do that though i cracked it i heard crack i was like what the hell it cracked like in a couple places i don't know what happened man maybe i dislocated my knee or something i don't know but yeah it was fine last night but i woke up today and it's hurting so I, I did some damage. <laughs> I did some damage, but I'll be okay though, I'll be okay. You know what it is? I think maybe because I'm an old man these days. You know what I'm saying? I'm an old man, that's why. 36 years old, yeah. Getting closer to 40 by the day, yeah. I think that's why that happened, you know what I mean? Hopefully it doesn't affect me into my old age. <laughs> But yeah, man, ah, that shit hurts. But yeah, man, um, let's get this dropped off five minutes away and then just start heading back home. I'm happy that things are working out. All right, guys, just pulled up to the drop off. Let's get this done fast so I can go back home. It was a nice little shift, man. We made some good money. All right, let me do this. All right, guys, got those delivered. Made $23 in that little shift. And on DoorDash today, we made $45.75. Wow. Let's give it up to DoorDash, man. Almost won the shift, but guys, I think we hit $100. So guys, just to run the numbers really quick, 
I did receive a nice Senpex order that I was paying about $42. Pick up from Westbury to over to Bayside, I think. Yeah, but don't have the time right now, you know what I mean? My time is very limited, you know what I mean? But I do get lucky. Like, tomorrow, I'll be able to go out, do some deliveries after work. See how much I could make. You know, just keep this money trickling in, man. So, today, we made $45.75 on DoDash, $6.76 on Grubhub, $49.10 on Roadie for a grand total of... Why this person not moving, man? Jeez. Anyways... For a grand total of $101.59, it's currently $9.22. We're basically out for three hours and 15 minutes. That was our delivery time. Three hours, 15 minutes. So we did good. We did really freaking good. We did over $30 an hour. That does not happen very often. <laughs> but I think I could make it happen. But um, yeah, usually not that efficient. You know what I realized? The shorter the shift is the better I do. Because if I stay out a little longer, I tend to think, yeah, I have more time. I could do this, I could do that. I could go far distances, you know what I mean? But when I limit myself to just deliveries around an area when I'm on a time crunch, I tend to do a lot better. So guys, thanks for watching yet another one. I am not going back out later. I'm gonna take the time to relax, you know? Appreciate it. Appreciate you guys watching. From your boy Dom, this is Gigabyte NYC. Subscribe if you're new. Like the video if you haven't yet done so. Let me know your thoughts down below. And until next time, peace out. Godspeed. Yeah, baby. Let's get it.